I do speak with so many patients that are confused. They go to their doctors, even sometimes functional and integrative doctors, and still are confused on how to eat. Not so much because the doctor's kind of guiding them, but because they get so much outside. They get hit with marketing. They get hit with people that say, eat carnivore, eat keto, eat you know vegan. And, mm-hmm. and then they go inside a store. They're not usually used to cooking so much. And they go inside a grocery store. And they just don't know what to do, right? They, they try and pick out healthy stuff, but the marketing's all over the place. And then you could tell them to pick up the box of whatever it is, although I don't like eating out of boxes usually. But you know, if you're going to and you need to save some time, I understand that. But you pick up the box and you just get confused when you start to look at the label. Because half the stuff you're like, I don't know how to pronounce that. You know, the other half is like, well, is that good? Sunflowers are nice. They're sunny. Like, you know, the oil must be good, right? So maybe you could break it down for that patient that's just like, I'm about to go to Whole Foods. I'm probably going to pick up a few things that are, you know, don't have ingredients and actually are the ingredient like vegetables and meats. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend most people do that. But you're undoubtedly going to have people that go down the 90% of the middle aisles, I say, and pick out boxes and kind of look at it. And, and try and make sense of it. What's your advice to those people to like look for or look out for? Right. I was just going to say, like, like you said, keep it simple, make sure your foods are your ingredients for the most part. So you could see all the ingredients that are in them. Right. Um, when it comes to like things like condiments, which like even healthy ones, like hummus, for example, if you pick that up now, most of the main brands in the, in the grocery store, even in whole foods, you won't see olive oil necessarily. You'll see like canola oil, maybe some sunflower oil or soybean oil. And that's just like my Lebanese grandmother would cry if she found out that that's what they were making the the hummus with. So, um, I mean, in that, in that type of, you know, if you're wanting to really avoid the PUFAs, like the polyunsaturated fats, which I think is a good idea because if they're, you know, they have higher omega-6 content. They, they have more than one double bond, which means they're chemically less stable. So since they've been processed and exposed to oxygen, there's more likely of a chance of free radical damage. And that's what you want to avoid. So, um, and even chickpeas themselves, if they're not organic, they're going to be like covered in glyphosate. So I don't want to discourage people from buying like healthy condiments, but I, I think those are the things to look out for. Like those are the red flags is you know, polyunsaturated fats, highly unsaturated fats with more than one double bond. And that's um, the thing, and- isn't it, Lexi, that like, no matter what you pick up and read, you're not getting to the bottom of it because it's not going to say glyphosate on it. It's not going to say that it was no. grown in this type or it was used in a facility that uses chemicals to clean it and doesn't really know if it gets on your food or not. It's not going to say that it has heavy metals in them or something else that happens to like, you don't get the truth when you read a label. 